gospel music icon. Donnie McClurkin recently took to Instagram to strongly address and dispel rumors that he was battling a life-threatening illness, specifically cancer. The false report, which circulated online, used an old hospital image of McClurkin, leading fans to believe he was severely ill. In a heartfelt message, McClurkin clarified the truth, assuring fans that he is alive and well and not currently hospitalized. He expressed frustration at the misinformation, explaining, I'm okay, I'm healthy and here. McClurkin further emphasized that the picture being shared was over five years old and had nothing to do with his current health status. He urged fans to ignore the rumors and not be swayed by false information circulating on social media. The post was a direct response to the concern generated by these rumors, which prompted many of his followers to reach out, worried about his well-being. In his video message, McClurkin reassured everyone that there was no need for alarm, stating that he was not only fine, but ready to go to bed peacefully, further underlining that he was far from being in any medical danger. McClurkin's proactive response highlights his determination to remain transparent with his fans while putting an end to the unwarranted panic caused by the misleading reports. His message not only served to dispel the health rumors, but also provided comfort to his supporters who were understandably concerned about his condition. Gospel icon Donnie McClurkin took to Twitter to further address rumors about his health, responding with frustration at the false reports that claimed he was battling a serious illness. His tweet read, absolute rubbish, where he firmly denied the claims, stating, that hospital picture is old, I'm absolutely fine. This was in response to a tweet asking for prayers on his behalf, which had sparked concern among his followers. McClurkin emphasized that the image being shared was outdated and had no relevance to his current health. The false information had prompted fans to fear the worst, but McClurkin's direct and passionate response sought to reassure them that there was nothing to worry about. The confusion arose when an old hospital image of McClurkin, taken over five years ago, resurfaced and was accompanied by misleading captions suggesting he was gravely ill. Concerned fans began to spread the message, unaware that the image and information were outdated. McClurkin quickly moved to correct the narrative, making it clear on both Instagram and Twitter that he is in good health and has not been hospitalized. In the Twitter post, McClurkin's frustration with the false reports was evident as he worked to dispel the misinformation. He reassured his followers that there was no truth to the rumors and asked them to focus on the reality of his well-being, rather than the fabricated stories circulating online. McClurkin, a beloved figure in the gospel community, has always been open with his fans, and his quick response to these health rumors reflects his commitment to staying transparent and keeping his supporters informed. By addressing the situation head-on, he was able to ease the concerns of his followers and emphasize that he is, in fact, in good health. The incident also shed light on the dangers of misinformation spreading across social media. As more fans picked up on the false reports, the news quickly spiraled into widespread concern, showcasing how easily outdated or misleading content can cause panic. McClurkin's assertive and honest response brought the situation under control, but it also served as a reminder of the importance of verifying information before sharing it online. Through his words on both Twitter and Instagram, McClurkin made it clear that his focus remains on his health and well-being and that he intends to continue his ministry and musical career without any disruptions. His followers, who had been worried, expressed relief after hearing directly from the gospel singer, reaffirming their admiration for his openness and transparency. In the end, McClurkin's message was not just about clearing up the rumors, but about reinforcing the importance of truth, transparency, and faith in difficult times. Despite the brief panic caused by the misinformation, McClurkin's quick response helped calm fears and brought the focus back to his ongoing commitment to his music and ministry, showing once again why he remains such a beloved Johnny figure McClurkin, in the gospel community, the iconic gospel singer and pastor.
has had a journey with his health that has garnered attention over the years, not only because of his stature in the gospel music community, but also due to the transparency with which he has shared his struggles. McClurkin has faced significant health challenges throughout his life, and each instance has become part of a larger narrative about faith, endurance, and recovery. Though recent rumors falsely claimed that McClurkin was facing a life-threatening disease, his overall health history shows a man who has been through many battles and emerged stronger each time. Donnie McClurkin's Early Health Challenges, Childhood and Family History McClurkin's early life was fraught with hardship, much of which shaped his later experiences and perspective on life. Born in Amityville, New York, McClurkin grew up in a family deeply affected by loss and health issues. When McClurkin was just eight years old, his younger brother was killed in a hit-and-run accident. This tragic event marked the beginning of a period of trauma and emotional turmoil for McClurkin, and it had a profound impact on his mental and emotional health. Around the same time, McClurkin's family began to experience health challenges of their own. His father struggled with alcoholism, and his mother faced severe health problems. These early experiences with illness and loss in his family set the stage for McClurkin's lifelong battle with health, both physical and emotional. McClurkin's Battle with Leukemia Rumors Despite these early challenges, McClurkin went on to build an extraordinary career as a gospel singer and pastor. However, health scares continued to follow him, and McClurkin has often found himself the subject of rumors and false reports regarding his well-being. In 2018, McClurkin was involved in a serious car accident after losing consciousness at the wheel, a terrifying experience that brought his health to the forefront of public attention once again. More recently, false rumors emerged online that McClurkin was suffering from cancer. These reports used an old hospital picture, misleading fans into believing that McClurkin was facing a serious, life-threatening illness. McClurkin quickly took to Instagram and Twitter to set the record straight. He vehemently denied the reports, clarifying that the hospital picture was from a previous event several years prior and had no connection to his current health. He reassured his fans that he was alive, well, and not hospitalized. His frustration was evident as he expressed his disappointment in how quickly such false information spread, unnecessarily alarming his supporters. In a video posted to his Instagram page, McClurkin said, Let me put everybody's heart to rest. I am alive. Well, not in the hospital. I haven't been. And he further shared his disbelief at the situation explaining that he was fine and preparing to go to bed when he discovered the false news circulating. Health Complications Over the Years While McClurkin was not battling cancer, as falsely reported, his health history is not without its challenges. Over the years, McClurkin has faced various physical and emotional health issues that have affected his career and personal life. One of the most notable health battles McClurkin faced was his struggle with vocal cord issues. As a singer, this posed a significant threat to his career. His powerful voice is one of the defining features of his ministry and musical work, and any issue affecting his voice was deeply concerning. In 2001, McClurkin was diagnosed with a growth on his vocal cords, and doctors initially feared it could be cancerous. This was a terrifying period for McClurkin, who relied on his voice not just for his music, but also for his ministry. However, McClurkin turned to his faith during this challenging time. After undergoing treatment, which included surgery to remove the growth, McClurkin recovered fully, and the experience only deepened his commitment to his spiritual life. His recovery allowed him to continue both his music career and his work as a pastor and it became a significant part of his testimony about the healing power of faith. Mental Health and Depression In addition to physical health challenges, McClurkin has been open about his struggles with mental health, particularly his battle with depression. He has spoken about how depression has affected him throughout his life, especially during moments of personal loss or intense pressure from his career. 
As a public figure, McClurkin has used his platform to raise awareness about mental health in the Christian community, which is often hesitant to discuss such issues openly. Depression has been a recurring challenge, and he has been candid about how faith has been his anchor during dark periods. Through prayer, support from his family and congregation, and professional counseling, McClurkin has been able to manage his mental health, but he continues to emphasize the importance of acknowledging the reality of depression and seeking help. The Impact of Car Accident and Recovery In 2018, McClurkin's health took another hit when he was involved in a serious car accident. McClurkin lost consciousness while driving, causing him to veer off the road. He later revealed that it was his two passengers who saved his life, pulling him out of the vehicle. McClurkin sustained injuries but made a full recovery, and once again, he credited his faith for seeing him through the ordeal. The accident was a reminder of how fragile life can be and how important it is to take care of one's health. In the wake of the accident, McClurkin became more focused on maintaining his health, both physically and mentally. He expressed gratitude for being alive and used the experience as another testament to God's grace and protection in his life. McClurkin's continued dedication to ministry and health. Despite these challenges, McClurkin has remained steadfast in his commitment to his ministry and music. He continues to tour, record, and preach, and he frequently shares his personal experiences as part of his message of hope and resilience. His health issues have not only shaped his personal journey, but have also become a crucial part of his ministry. McClurkin's testimony about overcoming illness, depression, and near-death experiences has resonated deeply with his audience, many of whom look to him as an example of unwavering faith in the face of adversity. McClurkin's openness about his health struggles, whether they are physical or mental, reflects his belief in the power of transparency. He has consistently used his platform to encourage others to seek help, trust in God, and never give up hope, no matter how dire the situation may seem. His own experiences have made him a powerful voice in the gospel community, not just as a singer and preacher, but as a living testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Conclusion The Legacy of Health and Faith Donnie McClurkin's health journey is one of faith, resilience, and healing. While recent rumors falsely claimed he was suffering from a life-threatening illness, the truth is that McClurkin has overcome numerous health challenges over the years. From vocal cord issues to mental health struggles and even a near-fatal car accident, McClurkin's life has been marked by moments of difficulty that he has faced with grace and faith. Through it all, McClurkin has remained committed to his calling, using his experiences to inspire and uplift others. His health may have been tested, but his spirit remains strong, and he continues to be a guiding light for those who look to him for inspiration. McClurkin's message, both in his music and in his personal life, is one of perseverance, faith, and the healing power of God's love. As McClurkin continues his journey, his story serves as a reminder that, even in the face of significant health challenges, faith can provide the strength to overcome. His openness about his struggles with both physical and mental health has made him a more relatable and inspirational figure, showing that even those who seem strong on the outside can face battles within. Yet, with faith, love, and support, those battles can be won. Donnie McClurkin, born on November 9, 1959 in Chester, South Carolina, is a renowned gospel singer, minister, and author whose life and career have been shaped by both triumphs and personal challenges. Raised in Amityville, New York, McClurkin faced significant trauma early in life, including the tragic death of his younger brother in a car accident and, later, sexual abuse by relatives. These early experiences led to struggles with his identity and faith, which he has openly discussed as pivotal in his personal and spiritual journey. Despite these challenges, McClurkin found solace in gospel music, becoming involved with his church's choir at a young age. His musical talent was evident early on, and he quickly became a significant voice in the gospel community. McClurkin rose to prominence in the 1990s with the release of his self-titled debut album, 
which featured the hit song Stand. His powerful vocals and soul-stirring messages resonated with audiences, earning him widespread acclaim. Songs like We Fall Down and Great Is Your Mercy became anthems within the gospel world and beyond, solidifying his place as one of the most influential but gospel Perkins artists success in time. gospel music did not shield him from personal battles. He has spoken openly about his struggles with sexuality, having endured childhood sexual abuse, which led to confusion about his identity. In his book, Eternal Victim, Eternal Victor, he candidly addressed his struggles and how his faith in God guided him through difficult periods in his life. McClurkin's stance on sexuality and his journey toward healing has sparked both support and controversy. But he has remained steadfast in his belief that his experiences serve as part of his ministry. In addition to his music, McClurkin is a prominent pastor. He founded Perfecting Faith Church in Freeport, New York, where he continues to lead and minister to his congregation. His ministry is well known for its message of healing, restoration, and faith, focusing on how one can overcome the difficulties of life through belief in God's power. Through both his church and his music, McClurkin has reached a wide audience, touching the lives of millions around the world. McClurkin's health has also been a notable aspect of his life journey. Over the years, he has faced several serious health scares, including a near-fatal car accident in 2018, and struggles with vocal cord issues that once threatened his singing career. He has also openly discussed his battle with depression, particularly during periods of personal loss and health challenges. Each of these trials has deepened his faith and become part of his testimony of overcoming adversity. A multiple Grammy Award winner, McClurkin's career is marked by numerous accolades, including BET Awards, Dove Awards, and Stellar Awards. His influence on the gospel genre cannot be overstated. McClurkin's ability to blend worship, personal testimony, and vocal mastery has allowed him to bridge the gap between